Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Ryan back with another Cubase video and today I'm just going to be basically telling you guys how to write a song easily. <laughs> Probably the easiest way to write a song is, is basically what I'm getting at. So um, to do this you're going to obviously need some form of uh, MIDI keyboard or mic or instruments or whichever way you obviously want to um, do this, whether you want to record stuff like raw using the mic or you just want to input it through midi which is what i'm going to be doing today um and you need a daw or door digital audio workstation or workspace whatever you want to call it uh <laughs> as you can see i'm super prof uh, professional um but yeah so essentially what i like to do is always work off some sort of loop so uh whether it's a percussion loop uh, like a four on the floor bass drum or you've got like a, a lead line which you just loop over and over again and write from that so um just to kind of show you guys what that looks like i'm just going to play this metronome real quick um just put a, a simple four on the floor um kahong bass note in and then obviously we'll work from that so if i just uh record that like that i have got a little bit of latency uh so do excuse it if there is um some delay um cool so this is just a really basic example nothing too complex um then obviously we've got a piano layer here so i don't know what chord we're going to do probably like a, a probably like d major is what i'm feeling so um let's have a quick listen and play along okay cool so for example if we were to do that i uh, just record something in like that let's say it sound like this latency is not not great <laughs> um let's see how that sounds cool and then if we loop that cool 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 so this is our foundation right here i uh, add another layer in so uh, let's add another piano layer in because i feel like the lead line needs to be backed up with some chords um so maybe like a yeah like a d major into like a, a semitone drop i don't know what the chord is in there uh hang on what would that be maybe something like that cool so let's do that real quick So obviously there we've got our chords, which obviously bring it to life a little bit more. Um, let's just obviously loop that now. Cool, loop these again. And then this is what this will sound like together. that's the the workings of basically how it all goes and then you just add another layer on top um i don't know what we're gonna add now let's uh <laughs> maybe add something like a violin or something um so let's go to here uh maybe like a uh, i don't know like a just something subtle and then that'll be the last layer and obviously i'll do some very cool example or something so let's have a little play along yeah we can do something like that cool so let's do that real quick oh, I 
have missed the mark. Hang on, excuse me a second. Apologies, like I said, the latency is not ideal. Uh, hopefully that's not too messed up though. Oh, yeah, definitely is. <laughs> Shit in hell, what the fuck. Um, cool, let's have a look how that looks now. That a little bit cool we loop that and obviously i mean you can add exactly what you want and obviously you can adjust the parts accordingly um so just before we actually get onto the vocals there's just one thing i did want to do so this is the chords right here um just quickly duplicate that delete it so i wanted to just do a little example of how you change into the next bit of the song so um you can either obviously re-loop it and take out certain layers. So an example of this, what you could do is you could do this. You know, and then obviously do it like that. Uh, or you can cut off at the end of the verse and just record something new from the ground up for the pre-chorus um, and vice versa. So I'm... Um, just do something random again. Hang on, bear with. Uh, so like this. You could just do, wow, well, that's a really bad example actually, but like a little break and then going back into it sort of thing. So uh, if I just quickly show you what that looks like. Um, so, bam, this is really messy, holy shit, wow, what the fuck am I doing with my life, <laughs> sorry guys, there we go, that helps, and then obviously you can add more layers if it comes into, assuming this is going to be a chorus, so it could be like, um, I'll do the vocals by the way. So, um, look, I could go on all day and obviously mix it all and all that other stuff, but I think I've covered the main, like, kind of agenda of what I was trying to do. So, um, I hope that is useful for some of you guys out there that, you know, want to have somewhere to start that doesn't take a lot of mental capacity when it comes to writing a new song, like whether, you know, you've, you're just like, oh, do you know what, I need a, a fresh approach or maybe you're just insightful to different ways of working or different ways of obviously trying things or maybe you do this already and it's just you know an eye opener to see how good this actually is um this method so yeah cool all right then guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it leave a like comment subscribe if you want to see more songwriting slash production videos obviously let me know uh but anyway just leave a, a nice like and a comment and subscribe anyway because you know it's all good um but yeah thanks guys peace out <laughs> have a good one bye bye